Polyester versus nylon. What are the main differences and which material is the best for things like bed sheets, comforters, socks, clothes, ropes, carpets, and more? Hey, I'm Matt from sleepinglucid.com and today we will be looking into the key differences between polyester and nylon, as well as answering some frequently asked questions. So let's get started. First, let's settle one thing that many people find confusing. Are nylon and polyester the same thing? Nylon, also known as synthetic silk, and polyester are not the same thing. Though both are a polymer and synthetic materials, they differ in their composition. Polyester is composed of ester groups, while nylon is made of amide groups. Polyester and nylon are two of the most common materials. In fact, if you look around you now, there's a good chance that there's something made up of either nylon or polyester around you. Since nylon was made to be just like silk, it has a little softer and smoother feel than polyester. Polyester is lighter in weight, but it has a rougher feel to it. However, technological advances have made it possible for today's polyester to feel soft and a bit more flexible. Now, despite feeling softer, nylon is naturally stronger than polyester, but the finer thread of polyester makes it possible to create products with higher thread counts to improve its strengths. Also, while nylon is resistant to abrasion, polyester is resistant to peeling. When it comes to elasticity, nylon is very stretchable and polyester isn't. In fact, it's nylon's elasticity that makes it such a strong material. Now what about breathability and installation? Nylon is the warmer of material of the two and it absorbs more water. It also takes longer to dry. As for polyester, it's water resistant and therefore it dries faster. These characteristics mean that nylon has a good insulation while polyester has good moisture wicking capability. Both materials can be made quite breathable nowadays. They're not quite as breathable as high quality natural fabrics, but they cannot perform low quality natural fabrics. And it's a good thing to note that the dye lasts longer in polyester than it does in nylon. Now one thing to keep in mind is that synthetic materials like nylon and polyester generate and retain static charge really well. To reduce the static electricity, add some fabric softener into the wash cycle. You also want to consider air drying these materials since using the dryer can increase the static electricity. Now I'll keep this video short and sweet, but you can check the description for our full article below. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified of our new videos as we have lots more helpful videos coming out soon. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Now let's continue with allergies. Both synthetic materials do quite a good job in repelling the most common allergens like mold and mildew, but the finishing resin that's often applied to nylon and polyester can sometimes cause allergic reactions, especially for those with sensitive skin. Now when it comes to sustainability, nylon and polyester are man-made materials, so they're not biodegradable, and they also require a lot of energy and water resources to manufacture. On the bright side, these synthetic materials are infinitely recyclable. Now when caring for these materials, both materials are low maintenance. They are resistant to mold and mildew, and they also don't stain or wrinkle easily. Odor issues completely go away once nylon is washed, however, polyester is oleophilic so it can retain a faint smell even after washing. This characteristic also makes it susceptible to oil stains. You can use your washing machine and dryer to clean your nylon and polyester clothing and bedding as long as you use low to medium temperatures. They can also usually be ironed using low heat, but you'll want to be sure to follow the instructions because not all products can be ironed. Polyester can be dry cleaned, however you can't dry clean nylon since the solvents that are used in the process can melt the material. Nylon and polyester are both mainly used in making ropes, carpets, and clothes. But when it comes to stockings, nylon is preferred due to its softness, strength, and elasticity. On the other hand, polyester is better for bed sheets because it's moisture wicking and it doesn't wrinkle very much. Now here are some frequently asked questions when it comes to nylon and polyester. Number one. Is nylon or polyester better for jackets? Well, in general, polyester is better for jackets because it's cooler and more breathable. It's also water resistant and it's good at wicking moisture, allowing it to dry faster. Is nylon or polyester waterproof? Well, both materials aren't waterproof, but polyester absorbs less moisture. For those fabrics that need to be waterproof, manufacturers coat or treat them with waterproofing chemicals. Is polyester or nylon better for rain? Though polyester is more water resistant, you'll find that nylon is more prevalent when it comes to outdoor applications like umbrellas, tents, and bags. This is because nylon is more durable and weather resistant. Does nylon breathe better than polyester? Polyester breathes better than nylon. Do nylon and polyester shrink? 
Most synthetic materials, including nylon and polyester, do not shrink. Is nylon thread stronger than polyester? If you consider their weight, nylon is inherently stronger than polyester. But polyester fiber can be woven in such a way that the resulting product will have a higher thread count to boast. Is nylon or polyester stretchy? Nylon is stretchy, but polyester is not. In conclusion, polyester and nylon are similar in many ways. Both are man-made materials that are affordable and can be blended with natural materials. They're also non-biodegradable, but they can be infinitely recycled. Nylon is well known for being low maintenance and having good elasticity, strength, and resistance against abrasions, stains, and wrinkles. It's also similar to silk in its smoothness and softness. Polyester shines for being in water resistant, and it's also more breathable. It's easier to take care of, and it's resistant to pilling and water-based stains. Well, that's all. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.